A breakthrough in an Austin murder case that's been cold for 30 years. How modern technology helped police solve the decades-long mystery. And we're timing out some weekend storms heading our way coming up in First Warning Weather. How a big land purchase by a major city entity could lead to more shelter for people experiencing homelessness here in Austin. Well, one of Central Texas's largest communities for the homeless, Camp Esperanza, is about to double in size. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Britt Moreno. Now, TxDOT is making the expansion possible, and KXAN's Grace Reader explains how many people this could take off the streets remains to be unseen. So I appreciate you. You know I do. When we asked Donald Montgomery... Take you out to Lake Travis, 400 feet above the water. We're here at the Oasis Restaurant, where it's cloudy and warm. A little slight chance of a sprinkle with temperatures in the 60s all evening. Come back at 6 o'clock. We'll take a first look toward our two-week forecast for Austin Marathon Runners. All right. Ooh, very exciting. Thank you so much. And speaking of lakes, new at 6, stolen cars found at the bottom of Ladybird Lake, the link between auto theft and other crimes. And right now on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt, drug makers defending the high price prices you pay what they say about generic drugs and their own profits coming up next.